Alrighty, hello everyone. Good morning. Uh, welcome to our DIY puppet craft uh, for Wonder Spark today. My name is Julia, uh, and this week, if you've been following along or if you haven't, it is Mythical Creatures Week. So we've been making super fun uh, creatures all week long. Um, and today we have this cute little Yeti finger puppet. Now, uh, this craft today was actually created by Jenny, one of our other Wonder Sparklers puppeteers who works for our company. Um, and she sent this craft along to me to teach you guys today. So if you noticed the little example video that we sent that we sent out or posted this morning to tell you what kind of um, what kind of supplies you were going to need, it looked a little different from mine right here. So Jenny made up the craft and then she sent it along to me and then I made my version off of what she made. So that's kind of a perfect example of what we hope you guys are doing with our craft projects uh, every, day, every day when we post them, is that you take our, our suggestions or our base or our um, foundation of it and then you go on and you make something super creative or you adapt it a little to what you guys have at home. So that's why mine looks a little different than the one that Jenny posted a little earlier. But just like snowflakes, no two Yetis are the same. <laughs> so as you can see, we have a little different cartoony styles, but it's still the same puppet. Alrighty, so let's go over the type of supplies you're going to need today for your project. I'm gonna close my computer because I just noticed you guys can see it in the shot. And that's probably super uh, distracting. I'm gonna put it down here. Alrighty, so today for our Yeti finger puppet, we're going to need uh, a few things. Most of them are the decorative stuff, so, so that's why we have kind of a long list today. But the basis that we need is we're going to need a cereal box or a snack box, basically just anything that has a nice cardboard that you can use to cut up. Um, you're going to need some coffee filters to make his fringy fur. We're gonna need some pom-poms or some cotton balls. If you, so if you don't have the special craft pom-poms, you can use some cotton balls from your medicine cabinet. Those work really well. We're going to need a hole punch if you have one. We're going to need a glue stick or any type of glue you have. Uh, white glue will work as well. Um, but this glue stick makes it go super fast. So I'm gonna use my glue stick today for most of the craft. We're gonna need some markers. We're going to need some scissors. We're going to need some tape, which I have right here. And then we're going to need some uh, white paper, just plain white paper. And then if you want, you can use some blue paper or if you noticed in Jenny's uh, example, she actually painted with watercolors on the coffee filters to make the belly blue. That's up to you, but, it may, but coffee filters do take in watercolor paint really well. So if you have some of that at home and wanna try it out, go for it. I'm gonna use the blue paper today because I don't have watercolors at home. Alrighty, and so before we get started, I should show you how our puppet works. I just realized you're looking at this thing and you're like, okay, cool, but how does it work? So it's a finger puppet, so we're gonna put our two fingers in there and then we're creating some little booty legs so that he can move around like that. How fun and cool. I'm actually super excited to make a Yeti today. For those of you who don't know me very well, Yetis are kind of one of my favorite animals, um, or mythical creatures. I guess it's a mythical creature. I mean, I have this Yeti here, and I like them so much I even wrote a whole kid's puppet musical about a Yeti. So this was kind of serendipitously passed down to me today that I, got to, that I get to teach you guys how to make a Yeti. All right, so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna set my guy off to the side. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take 
our cereal box, or our snack box, um, whichever you have, and you're just going to open it up. I, I have one that I started working with already, so I'm going to use the second half of it because we just want the cardboard on the inside. And the first step is where we get to be super creative and we need to make the shape of our Yeti. Now my shape here, you can see I kind of made a head and I have some ears and the body. You can make your Yeti honestly any shape you want, but you wanna make sure that you leave some room obviously so you have a place for your fingers. So I'm gonna draw a quick shape on mine and then you guys can use that as a base. So I'm just gonna draw a nice body, a big, a big body, and then I did, I did a big round head. So I'm gonna do the same on this guy. A big round head, like that. Oops, and I'll add some ears. What's nice about this is this is just the outline, and we're gonna cover it up. So if I have like, like see there, I have like a mistake line, that's fine, no one's gonna see it. This is just to make a rough idea of the shape you want to cut out. So there's going to be my outline. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut around all of those lines I just drew for my basic shape of my Yeti. Alrighty. So we're going to cut that out. I don't know how the weather is where you guys are today, but here in New York, it is super windy outside. So if you hear some howling in the background, don't worry, that's not a real Yeti. But that is the wind. It has been howling all night long. And in, our, and in my drafty New York apartment, it's quite loud. So yet we're just gonna cut all around these shapes, and if it's not perfect, don't worry about it, because like I said, we're going to cover it up with some paper or some decorations. Alrighty, so I have the basic shape of my Yeti, and ooh, I need to make some arms. So I'm going to take some of the rest of the cardboard that I have, and I'm just going to draw out a couple arm shapes. And... There we go, I got two arms, and I can go ahead and cut those out too to make it easier down the line. Do, 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 do. You know, doing all these craft projects as, at home has been really helpful to use up all of these boxes that I have and all this recycling. I know a couple weeks ago it was um, Earth Week and we used up a lot of our recycling there. But it continues on, I feel like, every day with all these craft projects, which is awesome. I love being able to upcycle into something fun and creative with all of my projects. All right, there we go. See, I have two arms. They're a little different shaped, but that's okay. Maybe my Yeti has one arm longer than the other. All right, so now that we have our basic body shape and arms, I... Uh, you can, so if it's up to you, you can color it and decorate it if you want to do that, but I'm going to actually glue it to some white paper so I can have a nice white base. If you have paint at home, you could paint it too, but this is just kind of a, a quick, a quick, easy step to, to get a nice white cover. So I'm just going to put glue all over my, my Yeti. Do, 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 do. Z and I were talking earlier about how much we love glue sticks now. That is a, one fun discovery of all these craft projects is how much we love glue sticks. It's not something we use every day, but now I use it every day. All right, I'm just gonna stick that down. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with my arms. Do, 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 do. Just cover it in glue. Stick that one down. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And stick that one down. Perfect. I don't know where my cap went. I'll find that later. <laughs> so now I have it stuck 
to my white paper. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut all of those out. I keep setting things down and not remembering where I put them. <laughs> do you guys ever have that problem? I know my fellow puppeteers do, we're so many materials. Alrighty, so we're just gonna go ahead and cut those out of the white paper. Again, if it doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of the general idea of what you just cut out. And if the paper starts to come off the cardboard a little bit, just add a little more glue. That works. So we're gonna cut. There we go, I got my body. And see when you glue it down to the paper, you have a nice, it's a nice white base for our Yeti because Yetis are in the snow. Fun fact about Yetis. So Yetis are from, uh, or the myth of Yetis are from Tibet, which is in Asia. And they live on big snowy mountains. Um, and, they, and, they, and they scare off hikers because they don't like hikers up on their mountains. But they're white because like polar bears, when you're in snow, you want to be able to blend in with your surroundings. So that's why Yetis are nice and white. But in America, we have a we have a mythical creature that's very similar to a Yeti. Does anyone know what it's called? That's right, Bigfoot or Sasquatch, depending on what region you're in. But it's all the same mythical creature. Just a big, a big furry guy like this one. All right, so I have my body and my two arm pieces. And on my example, I actually kind of ridged the sides to make it look like he has fur. So if you want to do, so I'll do that to this one so you can see how I do it. But I kind of just cut like a jaggedy line. No rhyme or reason to it, but just so he kind of looks like he has some like spiky fur sticking up so you can see it like that so i'll do that to the other side there we go just to give them a little more personality and shaggy fur perfect all right so i have my my hands my body and now on my example i put on a blue tummy so you could so it that blue sticks through. Like I said, if you look at the other video that we posted of the project um, earlier today, uh, Jenny painted with watercolors and that looks really pretty too, but I'm going to do the blue tummy so you can see how that works. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a circle out from my blue paper. You can draw it first if you want to give yourself an outline. I'm going to free freestyle it. So there we go. And then we're just going to glue it down to our Yeti, wherever we want that stomach to go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Perfect. Oh, there's my cap. It's literally right in front of me. Awesome. So I'm going to just paste that tummy down. And there we go. So now that'll poke through and it'll give the hint of a blue tummy. So a finger puppet we use with our fingers to make it move. So we're going to have to put some holes in this Yeti here. Now, um, if you want, you can just draw the circles that you're going to cut out for your holes. I actually found this button in my apartment um, that I'm going to use and trace so I have some nice, some nicer holes. But if you want to go around and look, look around your house or your apartment and find a nice circle that'll work, that's helpful too. Just because we're going to use a hole punch, but the holes want to be a little bigger than a hole punch. I know Jenny and I think Christina have those nice big hole punches. If you have one of those that have the nice big circle, this is perfect for that. You won't have to trace anything. But I don't. So I'm go I so I drew some two circles. 
And then if you have a sharp pencil, you can poke through, or your scissors you can poke through. I'm gonna make a little hole, I'm gonna do a hole punch hole to give me a start to where I have to cut out. And then I'm just gonna cut out those holes. Super easy. And those are where my fingers are gonna go. Do, 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 do. These are a little tricky to cut. So if you need a grown-up's help, I'm sure they will be more than willing to help you out there. Do, 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 do. And we want to keep it a nice round circle. You don't want to cut the bottoms out because then your fingers will fall out and that won't be helpful. Awesome. Okay. So now I have two holes. Oh, and that's where my Yeti legs will go. <laughs> All right. So next step. On our example, you see we made some nice Yeti fur. And that's a big important part, right? Because Yetis are so furry and fluffy, like my guy here. So this is where our coffee filters come into play. So if you get some coffee filters, we're just going to cut those up and make some nice fringe for our Yeti. Oh my goodness, these two are stuck together. There we go. Ooh, I brought two just in case. I learned my lesson from last or from a couple weeks ago and I ran out of craft supplies in the middle of this. So, so you're just going to flatten your coffee filter out so it's easier to cut. And then you're just going to cut. What I did was I cut. Ooh, got some glue on. Got some glue on my scissors. We're just gonna cut off some of this nice fringy part, our scallopy part, away from, from there, see? And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut that in half too, just so I have a smaller surface area to work with, because we wanna be able to layer our fringe. And then you can go ahead and line it up and measure how far across your Yeti body is. So see, like on here, I'm only going to need just up until about there. So I'll cut that off. But don't throw that out. We could maybe use that for later. And then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to layer all the way up until we get to the top of the belly. So we're probably going to need like three to five layers. Probably four. Probably right in the middle there. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that in half and then oop, I'm going to need a little more. So if you need a little more, you just go back to your coffee filter. Luckily, there's a, a lot of work, work material there. <laughs> awesome. And we'll cut out one more. All right, that's four. Let's start with that. And I'm going to actually start at the bottom and work up because then it's, it, it's easier to layer when you work from the bottom and work to the top part. So all I'm gonna do to layer it is I'm just gonna put a line of glue do, 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 right on the belly where I want it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lay the coffee filter down. Now you don't wanna glue the whole thing down because we wanna fringe it. So you want a little bit sticking up. See how I have a little sticking up right there? So make sure a little sticks up. So then we're just going to do the next one. This is why glue sticks kind of nice because you can get just little areas. All right. And then I'm going to take the next layer and stick that down. Do, 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 do. But see, I still left a little sticking up so we can fringe it. We'll do the next layer. Yep. I think four was the perfect amount. If you made your Yeti bigger though, you might need a little more. Or if you made it a little smaller, you might need a little less. All right, and we're gonna just do, 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 stick that one down. And then I'm gonna put one last one up here to cover the belly. Perfect. Awesome, so there we go. And you can leave it like this if you want. If you don't wanna fringe it, it kinda looks cool when it's just like scalloped like that. But if you want to fringe it, I'm going to. All you need to do is take your scissors 
and you're just going to make little snips. I know a couple of Christina's craft projects have had this. Oh, Julian the Mermaid had it the other day, if you've been following along with our Mythical Creature Week. We, I know we did fringe on that one. And if you have been following along all week and making some of our awesome mythical creature puppets, we would love to see them. You can uh, message us on Facebook or you can put it in the comments of any of our videos. We're really good at catching those. And uh, on every Monday, we actually share all the pictures of, of craft projects from the week before in our Master Crafter post. So if you want to be featured on one of those, send us a picture of you and some of your craft projects, because we love to see them. Alrighty, so see we have some fun fringe, how cool is that? Alright, now we have our arms too, we should attach those. Um, I'm going to put some fringe on them before I attach them, so I'll show you how I do that. I'm just going to kind of use some of this uh, coffee filter I have and make like cuffs. So see, I'm just going to put a little on the straight line where it's going to attach. Do, 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 do. And then I'm going to put some on this one. Do, 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 do. Oops, I did it the wrong way. This is why glue stick's nice, because you can pick it up real quick if you put it on the wrong way. There we go. Because, see, you want to make sure the fringe is going to be sticking out. And so we have there, and I'm just going to fringe. Do the same thing. I'm going to fringe. Lots of fringing in this one. So it's good practice if you're practicing your straight cuts or your little cuts with your scissors. Do, 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 do. Awesome. So I have his two arms. So I'm just going to put some glue on those sides and then I can attach it to the rest of the body. Perfect. So we're just going to put one arm there. You might have to hold it for a few seconds. One, two, three. And I'm going to go ahead and put the other side on the other one. One, two, three. Perfect. Ooh, our Yeti's coming together. Look at him in all of his fringy fur. And you can go ahead and get real crazy. I, on my example, I put, I put fringe all over him. So go nuts. You have plenty more coffee filters, so you can put fringy fur all over him. But I'm going to go on to the next step for those of us who are ready to do that. And that is the easy, fun one. It's the decorating. So I'm going to take my markers, and I'm going to draw a fun face and just kind of give him some decorating details. If you have googly eyes at home, you could you could use those or I don't know, paint anything you want. I'm going to use a black and a blue marker, kind of like on my example. Ooh, and I'm going to cap my glue stick because if I don't, I'll forget. Alrighty, so let's see. I'm going to draw just some little ear parts. I'm going to maybe highlight his ridges of his fur. And then I'll do the like I did on my example. Just drew like a, where his fuzzy face is going to be. And then some big eyes. Again, you can make your Yeti look any way you want. Do, Ooh, I'm going to do a big smile on this one with one little tooth. Do, 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 and I'll color that in. Why not? Oh, I like this guy. He looks friendly. He looks like a friendly Yeti. See, there we go. And then just because I'm going to add some fun blue highlights. But you can make your Yetis any color you want, even though they are white in the snow. You can still give them some fun colorful accents. Ooh, and I'm going to put some blue paws on him. Perfect. All right. Our Yeti's coming along. So we have all of our fringe. We have our holes for our feet. But 
we're going to add another super fun element because it is fun to see our fingers and he can dance like that. But on our example, we made some little booties so he can have some fun little snowshoes to wear out in the snow. So I'll show you how I made those. Um, so we'll set you off to the side right here. <laughs> so if you have your white paper and you want to use that, totally fine. I have my blue paper that I used for this tummy, so I'm going to go ahead and do that for the feet. And all you're going to do is you're going to measure. We're going to make little tubes. So I'm going to roll my paper. Ooh, I'm going to move that. I'm going to roll my paper kind of around my finger to give me just like an estimate of how how wide I'm going to want my tube. So see, there we go. Ooh, it's hard to roll paper sometimes. And then I'm just going to make a little mark where I know how long it's going to be. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make that whole strip because I need two tubes, so I might need a lot. And if it's not perfect, if the line you're about to cut is not perfectly straight, totally fine because we're going to be rolling them up into tubes. So there we go. So I have that. And then I'm going to go ahead and measure my finger again to see how long it's going to be. I'll make a little mark there. Oh no. I'm left-handed, so that was a weird, a weird way to write. Have you ever tried to write with your opposite hand? It feels funny, but it's fun to practice sometimes. All right, so I know that my fingers are that long. So there we go, that's gonna be one of my tubes. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use that as a pattern for my next one. You can measure out your second finger if you want, if you want like super exact dimensions, but it's not necessary. This is just a rough pattern. All right. So we have our two tubes and we're just going to roll them up to roll them up. So they make tubes like this. Now you can glue that if you want. I'm going to go ahead and use tape because tape is a little stickier for this and we kind of want a nice strong strong bond for these. So I'm just going to tape that seam and there we go. And if it's kind of coming up at the end, if you didn't get all the way to the end, you can add some more tape. That works too. Perfect. Awesome. So there's one little leg. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with my other tube. Just roll it up to make a nice tube shape. And then I'm going to take some tape and tape it shut. This is a little tricky to do with one person. So if you have a helper around, they might be able to help you tape down. But I have a tape dispenser, so that's very helpful too. And same thing, I'm just gonna tape down. So there we go, one and two. Oh, I made that one a little skinny. There we go. Now, if you have pom-poms or cotton balls and you want to add a little zhuzh to the bottom of your snow booties, we can do that. Just boop right there. I'm going to put them right down there. If you have glue, glue will work. You might have to let them sit for a little while. You can try the glue stick. That might, that might work. Um, I'm all fancy now like Z and I have glue dots. So I'm going to use my glue dots real quick. These are super fun. I was inspired by watching all of everyone else's craft videos. And I was like, I want glue dots. I've ne I had never heard of those, but they're super fun and awesome. So I just need one. I'll cut it in half. There we go. And they make sticking really fast if you don't want to wait for your glue. Sometimes I'm impatient and I don't want to wait for my glue. And we're just going to stick those pom-poms right down there to the edge of your snow boots. So now your Yeti, now your Yeti is ready to go. So all you need to do is put your fingers 
right on in, right on in his legs, and let's slip on our snow boots so we can go play outside. It's a little not snowy today, but we can still go tromp around and have fun. And you can decorate the boots too if you want. But there he is. There's our scary fun yeti. Awesome. Yay. I'm so happy I got to make yetis with you today. <laughs> Mythical creature week has by far been one of my favorite weeks so far. Oh, all these fun creatures. Uh, and I hope you guys have been having fun making them too. I'm gonna slip his boots off here so I can hold up my sign. Here, I'll set him here so he'll still be in the frame. All right, and thank you guys again so much for joining us. Uh, my name is Julia, and again, I'm with Wonderspark Puppet, and we, are, we do these craft DIYs every day. We're on like week eight or nine, I think week eight, crazy. But we've been doing, so we have a lot of craft videos that you guys can catch up on. If you just go onto our Facebook playlist, or on YouTube, or on Instagram, we have a bunch of the videos up there as well. So I think we have over 40 craft projects now that you guys can do at home uh, by yourselves and share your photos with us or put on your own puppet shows even better. That's what we hope you guys can do. So again, we have these craft projects Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. and on Saturday and Sunday, like today, at 10 a.m. On Fridays, we also have at 11 a.m. a live puppet show that you can watch from your own home. This week we had the Not So Spooky Ghost. That was yesterday. I've actually never seen that show, so I watched it yesterday and it is so funny. I was cracking up and I had friends texting me that they were cracking up. So you guys should check it out. It's gonna, the video up for it will be up for one week on our Facebook playlist. So you guys can watch it whenever you want this whole week. Um, tomorrow we have our last mythical creature. I can't wait to see what it is. Uh, so make sure you tune in then. And if you really like this com content and like what you see or just want to find out more about our company, you can log on to wondersparkpuppets.com. We have so much stuff to check out there. We have a list of all of the different shows we do. You can buy a puppet telegram, which means a puppet will pop up in your friend or your inbox if you want with a fun message for you. Those are super fun. Uh, we have raffle tickets you can buy every Friday. They pull a raffle and the winner wins a free live show for just them and their friends that is live streamed just for them. Um, we pulled one yesterday, so it means we have a brand new one starting up today, or it started yesterday, but you get the idea. You have plenty of time to, get <laughs> to buy a new ticket, so make sure you do that. And if you spend any money in our store, it counts as a raffle ticket, so it's like a win-win. You can get a tote bag and get entered in the raffle. You can buy a telegram and get entered in the raffle. So make sure you guys check out that. We also are, we can do birthday parties. You can hire us for your birthday party. I know a lot of us have had quarantine birthdays, me included, and if you want to make it super fun and extra special, you can hire us. We can do a puppet show. We can do a live craft like this catered to you or both, whatever you want. So yeah, just log on to wondersparkpuppets.com. All of our information can be there, found there. Woo! Awesome. And again, thank you guys so much for tuning in and joining us. And hopefully we see you all again real soon. And have a great day. Bye. Now I'm awkwardly going to walk around because my camera's on the other side to turn this off. So have fun, everyone. <laughs>